Over at the National Assembly, the ruling People Power Party and the main opposition Democratic Party lawmakers have finally reached an agreement on next year's budget. More funds will be allocated for the nation's R&D projects, which have been one of contending issues. Kim jong shu has the details. The budget committee consisting of two lawmakers, each from the ruling PPP and main opposition DP, finally reached a deal. More than three weeks past the legal deadline for next year's budget to be rubber stamped, the lawmakers, joined by Finance Minister Chu Kyung-ho, smiled and held hands. We reached an agreement today with a bit of give and take with each other because we couldn't delay any longer when taking people's livelihoods and the country's economy into consideration. Of course, some of the agreement falls short of our expectations, but I think it's meaningful that both parties reached an agreement based on the best possible negotiations. The government has accepted budget restorations or increases in key fields proposed by the DP. For R&D, there is a net increase of 600 billion won or about 460 million U.S. dollars. The amount is less than half of what DP had asked for, but is considered a huge gain as the government originally proposed a cutback of 5.2 trillion won or about 4 billion U.S. dollars. For the Semangam Regional Development Project, which the government originally considered cutting back on, there is an agreed increase of 300 billion won or about 230 million dollars. Semangam is one of South Korea's large-scale reclamation projects. There were high expectations to use the reclaimed land for renewable energy such as wind power plants or solar power panels. The total budget cut the government proposed for local vouchers was also increased marginally by 300 billion Korean won. The vouchers allow local residents to purchase vouchers to use instead of a credit card or cash with a discount rate varying from around 5 to 10 percent. Both parties have been racing to reach a deal after they launched a budget committee earlier this month. The agreed bill will be put to a vote on Thursday morning at the regular plenary session. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.